Hello students, today we shall uh, start with a new algorithm that is midpoint line drawing algorithm and it is also called as uh, Brisson Ham al algorithm because he is the one who actually uh, worked out with it and uh, came out with an algorithm and we will have to uh, also see what is the difference between the previous uh, DDA algorithm and then this uh, midpoint line drawing algorithm and uh, the DDA uh, algorithm always wants the y value to be rounded off and uh, it is not so accurate and uh, it is not so specific whether to select the accurate pixel that you can see in this uh, diagram that is uh, I am drawing a line like this and the pixels are like this that is the pixels that is the grid is arranged like this and uh, uh, if I want to draw a line then uh, it has to be so very accurate to get a very accurate line that I will select this below pixel or the above pixel. So, if that is the case, so then this um, a midpoint line drawing algorithm so works very well because it uh, selects the pixel that is the northeast pixel, any pixel, and the east down pixel E pixel or the N E pixel. So, exactly according to the requirement of the line that means uh, say my line is going this way and then uh, the line is moving to this grid line. So, then it decides whether to select the E pixel or to select the N E pixel which pixel has to be ignited and which pixel has to be get activated. So, that the line gets formed. So, therefore, uh, this midpoint line drawing algorithm always makes decisions every time that is every time it goes to the next pixels it decides whether to select the uh, any pixel or the e pixel. So, the uh, above one or the below one above one or the below one. So, every time it makes the decisions and it keeps on going and this is how the uh, line algorithm is actually formed. Here you can see this is the previous pixel, previous pixel in the sense I have started from here and uh, uh, the next pixel that is the current pixel which I want to draw now. So, this is the current pixel. So, the current pixel has to be decided now whether the current pixel is going to be this E or N E and then the same way when I go to the next pixel again I have to decide whether I am going to select this pixel or this pixel. So, uh, just by the diagram, so without any uh, mathematical logic you can just say that uh, see this is the midpoint of this grid. So, this is the, these two uh, end points uh, are the grid, uh, grid lines end and this one is the midpoint of this line. So, this line's midpoint is this. So, when my line is going above the midpoint that is the midpoint is this and my line is traveling like this. So, then of course, I have to select what pixel is this any pixel. Say for example, my line is going below this. So, that is if my line happens to be like this. So, then I would have selected this e pixel. So, same way mathematically we have to come to a uh, uh, the derivations and then we have to uh, come to an algorithm. So, which will give me the accurate uh, uh, steps of how to do the program. So, for that mathematically you have to uh, say that what is the uh, equation for the line, what is the function uh, of the line f of x is equal to when I know the constants a, b and c. So, the x is one variable and y is another variable we all know that mathematically f of x that is line function will be a x plus b y plus c whenever I know the constants a, b, c. Okay. So, then uh, the next equation that is uh, y is equal to m x plus b is the common equation that we know when we want to draw a line and I know the slope. So, when I know the slope, so then I use the equation y is equal to m x plus b. So, these are the two equations which we will have to use it. So, so as to come to the uh, derivation and to the algorithm of the midpoint line drawing algorithm. Okay. Now, uh, this f of x is equal to a x plus b y plus c is equal to 0 is my equation for the line and y is equal to dy by dx. So, then we will get rid of this uh, denominator by multiplying the whole equation by dx y into dx is equal to this is again multiplied by dx. So, then you get uh, dy into dx because this dx gets cancelled plus b into dx 
Okay, now uh, put everything into uh, one side that is uh, to the right hand side or to the left hand side. So, we will uh, uh, bring this y dot uh, d x. So, y into d x to the right hand side. Then x d y if it comes to the right hand side then it is going to be minus y d x plus b into d x that is equal to 0. So, now you can see here the whole equation has turned out to be of this form now. It is like a x plus b y plus c equals 0, a x plus b y plus c is equal to 0. In this uh, which is going to be a, which is going to be b and which is going to be c is what we will have to note it down. So, here you can uh, uh, easily compare this equation with this one. So, x is here and x is here. So, therefore, a happens to be d y, then b happens to be apart from y how much we have here. So, apart from y we have minus d x. So, therefore, b will be minus d x then c will be b into d x. So, now uh, we have formed this equation that is a y is equal to m x plus b equation is now uh, uh, transformed into a type of uh, f of x uh, type of equation that is it is written as f of x comma y. So, the equation has now formed in the uh, in the same pattern of a x plus b y plus c equals 0 and this a is equal to d y and b is equal to minus d x and c is equal to uh, b into d x. So, now uh, we will have to see that uh, how the equation that is f of x y is the function. So, how is this function uh, becoming as positive or uh, negative or 0 uh, always the f of x y function. So, will be f of x y will be 0 on the line it will always be the value of the function f of x y will always be 0 on the line and then it will be uh, positive below the line and negative above the line. That is the f of x y is uh, 0 on the line, positive below the line, negative above the line. So, these are the things that you have to remember when we are going to ex uh, explain the same concept again in the next part, you will have to continue with the same concept. Thank you.